So to start off with, I want to talk about the next generation Titan. And the first thing I want to do is talk about the inspiration that we had for the next generation Titan. When we kicked this off, a group of planners, designers, stylists, engineers, we all came together at a round table to talk about what we wanted to do on the next generation truck. And Randy Rodriguez came in from NDA and he had this image, this inspiration. He said, you know what? I've been researching what exactly is a Titan. And the Titan were gods that were always challenging other gods. And so he, his, his, his point to us was, that's us. There are some big Goliaths in this segment that we have to challenge all the time. And so this warrior instinct started coming out in our discussion. So I began the design process. Um, actually, I was doing a lot of inspiration and research at first, and then I was thinking about the name Titan, and that uh, it comes from Greek mythology. And uh, I was thinking about all these Greek warriors, and the Titan is this immortal giant of superhuman strength and endurance which is perfect for a truck. And um, I was looking at these, their warriors, their muscles, their masks and armor. And then from that, I was like also inspired by movies like 300 or Gladiator, uh, Spartacus. And I was drawing the, the, their armor and the helmets. And from the helmet, I was thinking that this is the face of the truck. And where you got this really vertical line that comes out over the headlights um, and into the front fenders. And the fenders are almost like, um, armor and uh, the shoulder muscles of uh, these warriors and then through the body it's kind of has an architectural feel but it's much more anatomical you can see this um, strong emotional structured quality about it now with that i want to talk about our three keys for success for the truck first and foremost is the exterior styling everybody knows that no matter how great your truck is if the customer doesn't look good in it he's just not going to buy that truck so for us it was paramount to make sure that we had tough rugged, strong, strength styling. One of the keys for that also was that lurking underneath the hood of that truck is gonna be a Cummins diesel engine, V8, five liter, 310 horsepower, 555 foot-pounds of, of torque. And we wanted to make sure that our truck also showed that kind of strength and, and durability and reliability that that engine had. You know, one of the differences of the Cummins uh, uh, v, five liter V8 diesel that we're putting in this Titan is, is in the name, it's a V8. Cummins has, for many, many years, focused on inline uh, diesel engines. Most of them six cylinder uh, on either the class eight truck, uh, you, you, people know the names like Kenworth, Peterbilt, uh, um, Freightliner. Uh, in those kind of trucks, or even uh, in other pickup trucks in North America, but but this one is a is a V8 engine, uh, and so the V engine really provides the opportunity for packaging. Uh, it it allowed the truck designers the ability to keep basically the same outline of the truck that they would with a gasoline engine, uh, yet take advantage of the diesel power. So that's probably the biggest difference between this diesel and other ones. On top of the fact that with that V8 and a 90 degree V in our our engine it's incredibly balanced. So uh, I would tell you that maybe 15 years ago, Cummins didn't know how to spell NVH, right? But uh, now we understand that whole noise, vibration, harshness, and uh, it's been a terrific uh, engine from that standpoint, very quiet. A lot of people don't believe it's a diesel. Second is powertrain. That's the heart and soul of any truck. We've talked about the Cummins engine, but we also have a new V8 engine coming for the, for the next generation Titan. Along with that is going to come a new for Nissan to the truck segment V6 engine and that'll also be a coming out with this truck. Third and probably most importantly is quality and overall goodness. Every engineer when he uh, was kicked off on his program was asked to think about quality reliability first on their part. We can work with the mass and the, and, the, and the cost later on, but we have to make sure that everybody is thinking about quality first and foremost when they make their designs. And then there's overall goodness of the truck. And what that means is that typically our competitors will lead an area, oh, they're the leader in acceleration, but at the same time, they're the worst in class for fuel economy. Or this truck is the leader in ride comfort, but their handling is off or maybe worst in class. With the Titan, we challenged our engineers to make sure that there was no compromise. We're gonna be best level in fuel economy, we're gonna be best level in acceleration. We're not gonna trade off one for the other. When you see our handling and our ride comfort, they're both going to be top tier because that's a, the no compromise and that's what our customers are looking for in the next generation. Now if I can talk to you a little bit about the styling. 
of the next generation Titan. First and foremost, tough and rugged, big, strong truck image. We want to convey the quality and strength of the truck throughout the entire vehicle, and that starts right with the styling. From the front massive grille that we have that improves our cooling flow, to our new headlamps that have projector LED, uh, and a signature LED, which is key for the Canadian market that they came to us, that they, the signature on the headlamp is actually a daytime running lamp. So the character of the vehicle will stay even with the daytime running lamps are running on the vehicle. As we move across the side view of this Titan in front of us, and this is our new Platinum Reserve uh, Titan, you'll see the two-tone paint. This is new for Nissan uh, to apply a two-tone paint. And one thing you'll notice when you walk up to the truck, when you have the I key in your pocket, there'll be a puddle lamp that'll welcome you to the truck so that when you come in with your hands full or it's a dark area, the light will come on and you can now see, open up your door and get in. You also uh, see a new step rail that we've applied on the next generation Titan. And it wasn't that we just made it bigger and for a more sure-footed stance to get into the vehicle, but we've expanded it all the way to the back of the truck because the reason you buy a truck is the truck bed. So now you're able to use this step rail to get into the truck so that if you have to retrieve something out of the bed of the truck, you now have easy access. The old way was to stick your foot into the wheel and kind of climb over. Now we've given them a sure-footed step rail to do that. Now let's talk about the bed innovation. Because if it wasn't for the truck bed, the customer would just be buying an SUV. So Nissan spent a lot of time and energy innovating in the bed area. With the first generation Titan, we had a lot of unique selling points in the truck bed area. And one of the first items that you come to is the damp tailgate. And the reason we came up with this idea is that normally truck guys are coming up to the truck to load into the bed and their hands are full. And what we wanted to make sure is that they could unclick it and have it come down so that they could easily slide in whatever they had. In the old days, the, the tailgate would just slam down and then they would always wear, oh, am I damaging my truck or not? But now with a damp tailgate, it's very easy to, to, to come down with their hands full and it's also a very easy one-hand operation to close the tailgate. But we didn't stop there, of course. One of the key innovations that Nissan brought to the segment is the spray-in bed liner. At the time that we came out with this, customers were having to go to an aftermarket system to apply a uh, spray-in bed liner to their truck. And the reason they did this is for resale. They wanted to make sure that their bed was very uh, clean, dent-free, uh, scratch-resistant, so they were buying these uh, uh, spray-in bed liners. Nissan, first to innovate in this area and first to offer that directly from the factory. One of the other innovations that we had was the channel system that you can see here. We were the first in the segment to bring the channels to the truck market, and we're still the only truck manufacturer that innovates to put the channel also in the bed of the truck. And we find this is key to our customers. Anybody who knows that if you haul an ATV or a motorcycle in the bed of your truck, you're gonna wanna tie that down so that the suspension on your toy, your ATV, or your, your motorcycle is compressed so that when you're going down a bumpy road, the suspension on your toy doesn't move around in the bed. But we didn't stop there. We also have illumination. We had illumination in the tailgate area because this is a truck guy's work zone. This is where he works, and at night, the work doesn't stop. So this area needs to be illuminated so that the customer can work in this area. We were the first to innovate lighting in this area. We also have a high mount lamp that illuminates the bed area. But for the next generation, we took it the next step because customers came to us and said, hey, you know, I live out in Calgary and I have a topper on my truck to keep the elements out of my bed. Now my illumination doesn't work inside the bed, so they were buying aftermarket lighting. So new for us will be four LED lights that go underneath the channel system in the bed of the truck so that they can see in this area and it now illuminates the entire bed area for them. We also applied 120 volt uh, power supply in the bed of the truck. And then new for the next generation will be an in-bed storage system. And when we launched the 2004 model year, we had an external uh, bedside storage system that we innovated for the segment. Now we've moved that to the inside the bed and we did that for a few reasons. One, we wanted to expand the usability, the usable space for the customer. So now you can get from, our, uh, from the factory or as an accessory, bed storage systems that will slide in from the wheel well in. It has eight bolts to attach this 
to the uh, interior of the truck. And with that, if the customer wants to remove that, he can still use the full usability of the bed. Our competitors have a, a, a bed system that takes up the whole bed and you can't remove it if you want to use the full use of your bed. That system also opens to the inside, allowing that customer in Calgary, again, who has the topper on his truck, to be able to access that bed storage. With what our competitors do, once you put a topper on, it becomes useless, that, that bed system form. So with this innovation, you're now able to utilize this bed storage system with the topper on or without. It's also uh, uh, watertight, but also drainable. So if you want to use it as a cooler, go right ahead, fill it full of ice and your favorite sodas, and you can drain it afterwards and, and get it cleared out. So this is the, the, the bed innovations that we have in the bed. But there's one last thing that I didn't talk about yet, and that goes into the towing on the truck. What you'll see on the Titan XD is a integrated gooseneck hitch straight from the factory. No longer are the days of you buying a brand new truck, your new baby, and you take it down, and the first thing you do is have some guy with a saw cut a hole in the bed of your truck and weld on some, some braces to put in a gooseneck. If the customer comes into your store with his trailer, a gooseneck trailer, he can drive away with a new truck and he won't have to do any other upfits to his truck. The gooseneck hitch you'll see in the bed of the truck, that's also the ball will actually flip up and turn down so that they can have a perfectly flat floor if, they, if they're not using the trailer, but when they are, they can pull it over and pin it in and away they go. But with regards to towing, there was many other innovation areas that we have in store for the next generation Titan customers. And first and foremost is the trailer brake controller. Again, when somebody buys a new truck, typically they have to go down and get an uh, a trailer brake controller installed in order to haul a trailer with trailer brakes. From Nissan, you can get it directly from the factory when you purchase the truck. We didn't stop there. We now have trailer sway control to give more stability while driving. We also have grade logic. Nissan was an innovator in grade logic when, uh, with the original Titan. And what that means is that when a customer is driving on a grade, the truck will now sense if it's coming down the grade to apply the uh, downshift if they need to slow down their speed. Or if they're uphill driving, sometimes the truck will shift in and out. And what this will do is monitor that and be able to control the transmission so that you're not getting as much shift hunting. It makes for a more comfortable drive while towing. Now, one last feature I want to talk about in towing, and that is the trailer light check. Currently, if you're going to hook up a trailer, it's a two-person operation. You know, one person can hook the trailer up and hook the lights up by themselves, but it always takes another person to help them with the lights in the back. Somehow you have to check those, and that means somebody has to put their foot on the brake, turn the left turn signal, turn the right turn signal, turn on the lights. With the trailer light check system, the customer, once hooking up the trailer, he can now stand behind the trailer and with the push of the fob, the truck will now cycle through each of the lights. So now that, sim that single driver can look at his lights and say, yep, I have a running light out on my trailer here. I need to get that fixed before I go. Taking that operation, there was a two-person operation down to one. And I will talk about one more item on the, on the towing, and that goes back to the one-person operation. We also have equipped the Titan with a camera system that actually has a guideline in the uh, display for the driver. So no longer is it the days of having the person out back saying, come on back, two inches, two inches, stop. Now the driver can line up with the guidelines right there, line it up with his ball and can see right when he's in line with his trailer and stop. My wife loves this feature because she's no longer getting outside to guide me back. Let me tell you about a couple of the new features, new driving aids that we have on the next generation Titan. First, we have front and rear uh, sonar sensors for backing up and pulling forward. We know that truck customers typically like to back into a parking place, so we, we wanted to make sure that not only do we have a camera that lets them see as they're backing into a parking place, but we also have a sonar system that will give them an audible feedback, a beeping when they back into the parking place. And when they hear the solid tone, they know that that's the time to stop. 
We also have applied a couple other innovations that Nissan uh, was the innovators in, and that was a round view monitor. This is a very large and substantial truck, and a round view monitor was just a no-brainer for this truck. That is a camera system all the way around. You can get a 360 view around the Titan, so when you're pulling out of your driveway or pulling out of a parking place or backing into a parking place, you can see all the way around your truck as you're pulling in. To add to that, we added blind spot warning. Again, with such a large vehicle, we wanted to give the driver a sense of, uh, of, of confidence while driving. And blind spot warning will actually allow them to know when somebody's pulling into their blind spot and giving them a, a visual key feedback that yes, somebody has pulled into my blind spot area and that I need to take care if I'm going to change lanes. And then there's a couple other features that we've added. Hill start assist. That's the ability that when you're on a hill and you've stopped the truck, that there will be no rollback when you let off the brake and go to the gas for those steep grade when you're off-road driving or when you're on steep grades to be able to support you with that. And then we've also added cross-traffic alert, the ability to see behind you in the angles, and then also moving object detection in case somebody decides to walk behind you, we'll get an alert in the camera system that tells you somebody's walking by in that area. Something new for the next generation Titan I want to talk to you about, and that's a Titan XD. People are asking, what is the differentiation? What is an XD? Well, there's actually two chassis that we're coming out with on the next generation Titan. The first is the Titan chassis, and that's the chassis that we've had today with some updates and improvements for the next generation model. But secondly is the XD chassis. And what the XD chassis is, it's more of an extra duty chassis that we've put together for the truck because we're now expanding the towing cap capability of the truck to over 12,000 pounds of towing. And we didn't do this by a little game with the final drive ratio or changing powertrain. We're actually doing 12, over 12,000 pounds of towing by changing the chassis from the front to the rear. And what that is will be a totally different frame rail system, totally different front steering and suspension system to be able to accommodate over 12,000 pounds of towing. Now, the reason we went this direction is that during our focus groups, we heard time and time again from customers who were in the three-quarter ton segment saying, you know what, I'm towing a 10,000 pound trailer. Do I really need to go to the expense and give up the comfort of my half-ton truck just to be able to tow comfortably at 10,000 pounds? Why isn't there something that can tow that truck easily? And then we also heard from the half-ton segment where customers are saying, you know what, why can't I get a diesel in a half-ton truck that can still work as a truck, not a grocery getter, but a truck that can haul my trailers when I need it. This was the innovation that we looked at, that there is now a space in the segment. As our competitors have been battling it out for, oh, I can tow more, or I can tow more, or I have more towing, or I have more torque, or I have more torque, they have now expanded the segment out to a point where there's now a backspace, or in marketing terms, we're calling this a white space, an opening in the segment that these customers we're hearing at the focus groups are asking for. And that's for a truck that can tow over 10,000 pounds, up to 12, 12 and a half thousand, wherever it may be, but they can tow it comfortably with the vehicle. And that's where the XD chassis comes into play, allowing those customers to move into that space to find the just right truck for their needs. Okay, next I wanna talk about the interior of the truck. And so the first thing you're going to notice when you get into a new Platinum Reserve truck is the quilted seats. That goes back to that warm and inviting feel of that old hunting jacket. We know that truck guys spend a lot of time in their trucks. The distances out in the prairie is a long ways between cities and people will spend eight to ten hours in their truck driving. And we wanted to make sure that this seating position is very comfortable and ergonomic for them. So the seats, very comfortable. The leather quality on the Platinum Reserve is, near, is at luxury level. To be able to feel this, you'll feel the very soft and comfortable and warm feel for it. But you're also gonna notice the new seats are NASA-inspired zero-gravity seats. Again, going back to a study that NASA did on how people can be comfortable in long time in space flight. And to be able to translate that into a truck was just, it was great for our engineers to be able to, to do that. Now, one thing you are gonna notice that we have 100% column shifter on this truck. Nissan was the innovator in the gated shifter, but we've since decided to move to a column shifter, and that came directly from the customers at the focus groups, where they were saying, you know, we love this gated shifter, but we sure want more space in our center console. There's so many more things we want to put in here, and that shifter is just taking up space that we don't need to have. 
And so with that, we were able to move the shifter up, but also be able to gain the largest center console in the segment. Everything within easy reach of the customer while they're driving. And that was one of the key focus points for this next generation Titan. Yeah, so the inspiration for the interior uh, was, was trying to play off this motif that you see on the exterior a lot, this like interlocking strength, where like these shapes are kind of like locked together, really strong, um, with a modern hardware kind of feel. We wanted to make the interior feel very, very contemporary uh, and very upscale without getting too decorative or flashy. And so we took our inspiration from the kinds of things that maybe this, this segment um, customer would use a lot. Like we looked a lot at tools, we looked a lot at um, like construction equipment, and we tried to maybe extract the best parts of those and, and incorporate them into, into the structural components of the interior. Now I want to have you explore for yourselves the next generation Titan truck.